path of climate change affected us over the year. But you'd be surprised, first of all, Gabriela, to find out that people do not even understand what exactly climate change is. So before I go into how it has affected us over the years, I'd like to just speak in simple terms about what exactly climate change is mm. and um, what what are the possible causes of climate change. So in simple terms, climate change is like a long-term shift in the temperature and weather patterns. It's usually occurs naturally in the world. So it means that over um, thousands of years, the climate is actually going to change. However, there are a few practices and human activities that aggravate the process of climate change. Right. Okay. And um, some of those practices, we could talk about them later, but one of the, it has very, very huge impact on our world. How has it affected us, especially in, this, in Nigeria? So I'll speak majorly about the tropics. Mm. So it affects our crops, for instance. Mm. Um, when the temperature rises, so high when you have very high temperature you have now it now changes the seasonal pattern and you have longer months of drought and um uneven plant flood floods that were not planned uneven patterns of flooding and rainfall so this affects the crops over time um it brings heat waves heat waves in in increasing amount of um quantities that cannot really be explained hmm. can cause diseases, parasites and diseases that would usually not thrive in our um, in our location and in our climate are now able to thrive better. And one of the biggest impacts it also has for us, you know that Nigeria has is along the coastline. Um, we are connected to the ocean. So we are losing our aquatic life hmm. because the normal um, patterns of reproduction, migration that these animals have to go through to reproduce is affected, is being affected by the temperature mm. because they follow such patterns. And um, this is generally causing um, productivity loss in our agricultural sector. Health is affecting our health because we have um, diseases that we cannot explain. Long spells of heat and dryness. Mm. We are losing our um, infrastructure and, and our livelihood when we have long, when we have flooding. You know, if you have noticed this year, the flooding, the flood patterns in the last five, six years in the country have been getting worse. And this year, they have been flooding in different parts of the, mm. the world. And then, of the country. And then, um, desertification, desert encroachment. If you look at the map, if you're able to look at the map of how much desert we have in the country, it keeps growing because we are, we are cutting down trees and desertification is eroding, especially in the northern part of the country. Mm. So these are just a few um, of the things that we're suffering and it affects every single person. So we're going through long spells of heat. You know, everyone is being affected. You come out and say, what, what has, why is the sun so... Mm. Why is there so much heat? Mm. You know, so these are just a few of um, the things that um, cause are the effects of climate change. Mm. Yeah. Now, now, do you think that perhaps the problem is that we do not know the impact of, for instance, one of the problems you mentioned, which is, you know, uh, cutting down our trees. Do you think as Nigerians, we do not know the effect of that? Do you think that's what, that's what has caused for what has happened um, right now? Okay, so there are several ways to respond to the question. I could quickly say, no, we don't know the impact. But then it's a complicated question that has various answers. So for Nigerians, um, for instance, cutting down trees for several people is, for some people who need photo fuel, firewood to survive, it is the available fuel that they know about, mm. and it is their livelihood. It is cheaper, it is available, it is what they have done. It is habit, it is economy, it is um, poverty. There are several reasons for that. While some of the companies that are um, cutting, really cutting down trees and, and selling in, um and selling lots of them. Mm. It is also the economics of it. And there are no, there are no, there's no legal instrument to prevent and hold people accountable for some of the actions that they take. Mm. And we know that where there is no law, all kinds of actions thrive. So there is the need for creating um, affordable alternatives 
for people who these are the only options that they have for well. And um, there's also the need to create instruments and make create awareness also. Create mm-hmm. the instruments to legally, um, let people know what should be done mm-hmm. and then create uh, awareness. And and truthfully, the, the activities that aggravate climate change, there are a lot of them that we have lived with for years. Mm-hmm. So, for instance, um, burning of fossil fuel, you know, gasoline, mm-hmm. this is what has been available for us for centuries. We have built our economy around burning fuel. We built our economy around burning trees. We've, the only method that we know to planting or to agriculture is clearing out the forest. Mm-hmm. You know, we haven't really been exposed and educated about agroforestry, that agriculture can function within the forest, within forests. And so there is a, um, a shortage of awareness, lack of awareness. Um, there's the economics of it, there is the lack of alternatives. Mm. Um, so those would, would be the um, responses to, to that question.